Do you know the difference between rhinitis and sinusitis? It is normal for people to say that they have rhinitis or sinusitis without really knowing which is which. Although they are both inflammations, rhinitis is located in the mucosa of nasal cavity, while sinusitis is sinus inflammation. Sinusitis happens when your sinuses aren't draining properly and start building up. This inflammation can be initiated by infections which can be caused by viruses, fungi or even bacteria or allergic reactions. People with sinusitis also feel pressure or pain in their face and difficulty smelling. Rhinitis on the other hand is an immediate and exaggerated reaction of our immune system when trying to defend our body after having inhaled something foreign. The symptom can be very annoying. Sneezing, coryza, nasal clogging, irritated or itchy eyes, nose and throat and tears. Its causes are quite similar to sinusitis, for example, viral infections such as cold or allergic reaction to dust. In today's video, I am going to teach you a natural remedy that can fight both sinusitis and rhinitis. The individual Ayurvedic ingredient is what makes it so effective. They are four powerful natural antibiotics. Number 1 Garlic, Number 2 Onion, Number 3 Ginger and Number 4 Carrot. Here is how to make it. Ingredients 1 onion, 6 garlic cloves, 2 radishes, 1 piece of ginger about 4 cm, half a carrot and a little purified water enough to blend the ingredients together. Instructions Blend all the ingredients together until they are mixed well and then you just have to strain it and drink it right away. Ayurveda recommends that you should drink this recipe 3 times a day but keep in mind you have to make it fresh each time until the symptoms of rhinitis and sinusitis is disappeared. I request all of you to keep yourself hydrated by drinking plenty of water at least 2.5 liters per day and say no to junk food and choose high fiber foods and exercise daily. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Ayurvedic remedies.